Hey everybody, how we doing out there? So uh, one, happy new year. Uh, this video, obviously you'll be seeing this in the new year, but um, uh, a after I did the series, I, I really realized I didn't talk about um, kind of comms communication. And I really wanted to kind of uh, just make sure that I did cover off on what I use there. And it, 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 you know, it can be debated a thousand ways, right? So you got Cardo and Senna. And I've used both uh, in my 18, 24 months here riding. And uh, I started off with Senna. And so that tells you right there where I kind of have ended up is in the Cardo world. And it really came down to one thing, waterproof. And now, I got people that I ride with. They love Senna. It, they've never had an issue with it. Um, but I will say that when I rode out to uh, the Badlands and I was out in Wyoming, Montana, uh, a little over, yeah, a little, about, about a year, year and a half ago, um, I rode for about 12 hours in the rain all the way from the Wisconsin Dells all the way to basically the Badlands to uh, Sturgis out that way. So it looks like this. I've been riding in the rain now for four hours. And I don't think it's supposed to get better until I get to South Dakota. So um, pretty brutal. Um, and my Senna started going bad. And uh, could, you know the connection and everything like that and riding in rain. And most of you will probably know, but uh, Senna is labeled as water resistant, not waterproof. Uh, whereas the Cardo, and you can see right here, I have this, and I actually have two Cardo blacks. I've got one uh, on another helmet outside, but uh, and then I rotate them amongst my other helmets because I buy the second, you know, pieces of it. So, got a regular Cardo and a Cardo black. Um, difference there is just Cardo Black has the uh, the new JBL speakers in it which are pretty fantastic um, I love my word fantastic so uh, if you didn't know so uh, with that being said uh, that's kind of the bigger piece uh, and then also connectivity wise um, so Senna um, kind of has their own proprietary thing. I think if you go to a Senna 20 and above or something of that nature, um, it, 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 it only connects with other Senna's. So you can't have an open network and Cardo does. So, uh, like I said, so if you have, and, and they'll connect up to multiple people. So Senna can have up to 15 people and it could be, uh, I mean, uh, Cardo can have up to 15 people, but it could be Senna or Cardo folks and kind of uh, intermingled. Now, it's a struggle to do that, and uh, maybe I'll do a different video on that one, but um, uh, to get them connected, but they will connect uh, through the mesh technology. But for Senna, uh, they don't do that. And so at the end of the day, um, that's that's a you know big deal breaker. Like if you're with Senna, you have to have other people with Senna, especially when you start getting into like the Senna 50s and, and above, I think it's the 20s and above, uh, that, that's there. Now, speaker quality, um, Cardo wins big time. Even their basic JBL speaker was better than the Senna one that I have. But the new Cardo Black uh, that has the enhanced speakers uh, does a fantastic job. Even if you've got earplugs in, uh, does wonderful. So, you know, so again, sound quality, um, and then obviously waterproof. I've never had an issue. I've ridden through a ton of rain, um, you know, a bunch of different environments, and I've never had an issue uh, with Cardo. Like I said, with Senna, it was a little bit uh, different uh, of, a, of a piece. So um, long range, like range-wise, um, again, when you're connected with a bunch of people and you stay connected, you can stay in the range. Um, they do say that Senna is a little bit better, um, longer distance. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I will say that uh, uh, I've been on, you know, doing back, back discovery routes and um, just, you know, riding through, uh, you know, 
different terrain and stuff like that. And once you go around a bend and you kind of, you, you will lose people, uh, a connectivity if you don't have that little bit of a line of sight. It, it does start to get wonky uh, going through a mountain. So if you're doing switchbacks and, you know, big mountain passes or whatever, and um, there will be some connectivity issues there. Uh, so just, just know that you're not gonna be a mile away. Uh, let's say you're on a BDR and you're around a mountain, it's not going to work what you think it will. So uh, just just bear that in mind. So, um, you know, everybody has their different, uh, you know, uh, units and stuff like that. There's a lot of different ones. But again, uh, it really just came down to waterproof for me because obviously doing more adventure riding, um, I felt that the Cardo was just better than Senna. And uh, that's kind of where, where I was at. So again, um, all these features, all these different things, uh, I just, again, that's between the two. So my take on Cardo versus Senna, Senna versus Cardo, Senna is good. If you have it, I'm sure you're happy with it. Um, I had one, I actually I had it for over a year. Um, I thought it was good. I just decided to get rid of it. Uh, because I have the three Cardos and um, yes, I know it's a little bit excessive, but I just felt that Cardo was just better uh, because again, I can connect across different communication pieces between Senna and Cardo. Uh, waterproof was the big one for me. Uh, and then I, the, I thought the speakers were better. So uh, again, real world, that's my ideas of it. Leave your comments below, love to hear them and uh, tell me what you think between uh, Cardo and Senna. So uh, I know it's big debates, kind of like tires, right? Like who's got the best tires? Don't want to get into that one either. So uh, all right, folks, thanks for everything. Uh, hit that uh, like, subscribe, notification button. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.